Do you have a child who has chronic ear infections, speech delay, um, behavioral issues, doesn't sleep at night, is fussy all the time, and you know that your child shouldn't be this unhappy all the time for no good reason, and you've gone from doctor to doctor to doctor, and no one really has a, a good solution for you, and you're still left with this kid that you know shouldn't be as irritable as they are. In our office, we've seen a whole host of kids over the years, 21 years, and we find that a good percentage of these kids uh, were vacuum extractions or forceps deliveries or the cord was wrapped around their neck or they were a long, difficult delivery. 3% of kids delivered in this country are by forceps or vacuum extraction and that's about a little, there's more than 3 million um, deliveries every year in this country. And so do the math, there's about what, 10% of 3 million uh, is 300,000. So there's around 100,000 kids every year that are born with these mechanically assisted high impact. So there's about 100 pounds of force that's involved when they do a vacuum extraction or a forceps delivery trying to get the kid out of the canal. And now sometimes it's necessary and it saves the kid's life, but often, no, always actually, if you have a vacuum extraction or a forceps delivery, you're almost always going to have a spinal misalignment at the base of the skull. And the reason this can affect these young kids, um, the head weighs 10 to 12 pounds and C1 weighs about two ounces when you're an adult, when you're younger, much less. But when that segment dislodges under the floor of the skull and it gets locked, it irritates the central nervous system. And the nervous system was, was what the controlling factor in growth and development. So if you have one of these kids with these kind of developmental delays, speech delay, chronic ear infections, they're irritable, they don't sleep, Often it's coming from a spinal misalignment at the base of the skull. And do yourself a favor and uh, Google and read up on upper cervical chiropractic. It's a specialty within the chiropractic profession. The corrections do not involve twisting, popping, or pulling of the neck. It's a very gentle uh, tap under the ear to get to reposition the segment back in motion. Then the follow-up procedure is to monitor with uh, the tests that we used at the beginning to determine whether they have a problem and where. The follow-up procedure is to continue to check them over time to, to monitor whether the segment's where it should be or not, or not. So once the segment is repositioned and it's clear of the central nervous system, the body will start to go through this up and down recovery process. Thank God kids usually, not always, usually are quick. Most of the kids that we see within a week or two will have a significant change uh, in their symptomology that they're dealing with. However, some kids are difficult cases, uh, much smaller percentage than we find with adults and do require longer uh, monitoring over time to get uh, a change or resolution. So hope this video finds parents that are kind of their wits end, they're, they've run the gamut in the conventional system, they're looking for a natural alternative uh, to help their child function better. Upper cervical is a great choice.